The egg smells good. Do you guys ever smell your chips? I don't usually, but I did for the video. We're Megan and Matt, and we're on a mission to travel one million miles. After crossing into Canada, we drove north to Calgary to take care of two adorable puppies. You know how hard it is to deal with two freaking great days? Being from the U.S., we are pumped to try some authentic Canadian cuisine. I like it. It literally tastes like I'm just eating ketchup. So come with us as we eat everything Canadian. This video begins in downtown Calgary. We are in Calgary, the city closest to Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. We've been here for a few days already house sitting, and now we're gonna hit the town and eat all the Canadian things. First stop is Blowers and Grafton, and they're known for bringing Halifax street food to Alberta. So the first thing we're gonna get is a Donair poutine, and we figure we've had poutine before, and I'm sure this is not gonna be the last poutine that we try in Canada, so we're gonna fancy it up. And we're gonna have Donair poutine. Should be really good. Donair meat is very similar to like a Greek hero or Tacos El Pastor where they have the big hunk of meat and then they cook it on that big spit that rotates around and they just slice off as you go. Original poutine is french fries, gravy, and cheese curds. This adds some a little flair. It looks like kind of like a nacho situation and Donair meat. Mm. It's, I don't know the sauce is, but it's like sweet. The meat is so good. I've been waiting all day to try this. Definitely be a bomb nacho. This bomb. is basically a french fry nacho. I'm so pleasantly surprised at how good this is. That drizzle on the top, that white icing, brings like a lot of sweetness to it and the gravy is really salty so it's like a great combination to put together in this poutine. I loved it. It was so good. At that last restaurant, we met a local that told us to go to 17th Street. And so that's where we're going for our next cocktail. Cleaver and we're gonna get the Caesar snack, which is basically a dressed up Caesar. And the Caesar was actually created in Calgary, believe it or not. So we're really excited. And it's basically like a meal. They don't even put it on the drinks list. They just put it on the meals list. As an appetizer, they gave us this really good seasoned popcorn. It definitely has like some anise or some ethnic spices. Alrighty guys, so you have a chicken wing and chicken drum, jalapeno onion waffle, jalapeno cheddar corn dog, a beef slider, piece of bacon, and pepperoncini. All of the food on that Caesar was so good, and it was like a full meal. We loved it. And I think we found our new drink. I love Bloody Marys, and that's like a little bit more flavorful Bloody Mary, and a little bit less thick than a traditional Bloody Mary. I think it's really good. I think it's Caesar over a Bloody Mary any day of the week. That Caesar was amazing. The food was great. We just met the owner. She was super nice and the staff was amazing. Highly recommend. Do a little dance. Back at the house, we're gonna eat more, don't you worry. Hi. Ooh, hello. Whoa. Hi, it's actually really nice having this house, especially in these cities where you don't really want to sleep on the street downtown. <laughs> She's so tall. You know how hard it is to deal with two freaking great days where we're just super excited about walks? <laughs> Our next stop is Chinatown, and you're probably wondering why we're having Chinese food in Canada. Well, the Chinese and the Asian community is hopping in Calgary, and we're here to get the classic Chinese Canadian dish, ginger beef. It is Chinese tradition to serve the male first. 
So at dim sum places, they come around with the dim sum and then you can choose what you want. The first thing that they came over with is ginger beef. So let's try it. Mm, that's really good. It's sweet, it's salty, it's spicy. It's crispy on the outside. We all love deep fried stuff. Mm. It's a perfect combination of sweet, spice, texture's awesome. Mm. Bet you didn't know if we were a food channel now. Mm. This is hands down the best Chinese food I've ever had. So when George Wong decided to come up with this in the 1970s, he wanted something that would really appeal to the Canadian flavors. So he took his Asian inspired sauces and everything and then combined that with some breaded beef and thus ginger chicken was born. Ah, oh, chocolate. And thus ginger beef was born. Dim sum is usually like a breakfast food and what they do is they bring around carts of different types of dumplings and dishes and then you just choose what you want by looking at it. These are my two favorite dumplings when I go eat dim sum. This part isn't the Canadian part, I just love dim sum. It's like Chinese tapas. Matt's never been to a dim sum place before, so I'm excited for him to try. I'm gonna try not to drop it, but it's slippery. We're losing it here. I think the flavor is really good. It's a little squishy for my liking, but I like it. So we're gonna enjoy our Chinese food and catch you downtown. I think the community here is Cantonese because I just saw a woman say doche, which is thank you in Cantonese. The Mandarin way to say it is xie xie. Go team! And of course, it's an American flag. <laughs> the plan from here was to walk downtown to Calgary Tower and check out some of the other Calgary attractions. All right, turns out the rain came, so we're gonna get some bubble tea instead. Put that there. We're at Coco. We got the taro milk tea with boba. We love some boba tea. Mm. You need to get your own. At Coco, you can do a little drawing on a post it and then put it on their wall. This is my first drawing. It's really just a draft, <laughs> but Matt's making his own. And uh, we're going to put it up on this wall. I think we'll do yours. All right, if you see us, let us know. So if you guys go to Coco in Calgary, find our post-it, tag us on Instagram, and we'll reshare it. If you didn't know, Calgary is known worldwide for their meat, specifically their beef. The cows here are loved and cared for probably a little bit more than just about anywhere else, but I'm not a scientist, and I didn't know that for a fact. So I'm completely making shit up. What also I'm about to make up is some bomb ass steak we got from the farmer's market. We're here to get some beef because we heard that there's nothing like Canadian beef. Steak and meat! <laughs> that was the wrong cheer, right? Yeah. <laughs> Grab a good looking steak, now we're gonna cook it up. It's grass fed, grass finished. It <laughs> probably lived the most cozy life and we thank you cattle. We thank you for your service. Across the street from the farmer's market, we saw a wine store and they had organic wine, so we decided to pick up a Canadian organic wine. We decided on it because it looked pretty, but someone told us that it does taste good, so we're gonna find out after I pour it and drink it. Very dry, it's pretty good. I quite like that a lot. I quite like that a lot too. Here you go, baby. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we can do. Mm. Crazy. 
beef. Tastes like beef. <laughs> Back in the van, we figured this is the last day of the house sit, so we're gonna go out and get a Canadian classic the classic way. This is a local sports bar right next to our house sit, and it also happens to be game three of the Stanley Cup Finals. Woo! Let's see who's winning. Go hockey! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know hockey. <laughs> Do you dare say your favorite team? I'm a Rangers fan. Oh, I got another Caesar. This is my third one of Canada. I think I'll be having a lot more. If you missed it before, poutine is french fries, gravy, and cheese curds. This is the traditional way to have it. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I don't really think you can mess up poutine. There's nothing better than a classic. Hmm. That's poutine, baby. If you've never had poutine before, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's french fries, it's gravy, and it's cheese curds. It's salty, it's very savory. So this compared to the other one, the fancy Donair one, with all the toppings on it, two totally different things. This is what I'd recommend if you're coming to Canada and you're gonna try poutine. Don't go for all the high-end stuff. This is what you wanna try. <laughs> This is like the final, it's the best of seven. Is this Stanley Cup final? Is that not the last game? This is game three. Of the final? Is this the final tournament? Yeah. I literally can't stand sports. Like, I don't get it. Why would you call it the finals if it's not the final? It's the finals. I learned something today. Apparently the Rangers isn't the U.S. hockey team. There are more U.S. hockey teams. How many? I don't know. At least three, right? At least three. Maybe 10? I don't know, Matt. It's time to leave the house sit and head up to Banff. We'll miss these guys. All right, we're ready to go. We're not quite done with our food trip yet. We have one more thing we have to try before we leave. For the ride, we have ketchup chips and all dressed chips. If you didn't know, they don't have this in the States. So, this is our first time trying it. We're gonna eat real healthy on the road. It's a weird color. It's like purple. It's very vinegary. It smells very vinegary. It tastes like ketchup. I'm not a huge fan, but I will eat this whole bag. I'm not a huge fan of ketchup either. I do actually. I enjoy ketchup quite a bit. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about ketchup flavored chips, but. It literally tastes like I'm just eating ketchup. <laughs> it's almost like. Um... Ketchup and fries. Ketchup and fries, exactly. Yeah. But like the fries might have been sitting out for a while and they're not hot. I think this is something that if I keep eating them, I'm gonna really develop a taste for them. Like it? This tastes just like dipping McDonald's fries in McDonald's ketchup. Ooh. It's salty. These are good. These are all dress chips. They call them Ridgies. I think it's cool. Bag smells good. Do you guys ever smell your chips? I don't usually, but I did for the video. Mmm. Preferred? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are problematic. If this had like French onion dip or sour cream and onion dip or one of those like chip dips, I would eat a whole bag in one sitting. Those are good, right? Ooh, it's kind of the same as the ketchup chips, but like more barbecue-y. By the time we get to Banff, these will be gone, but we're going there to eat something that was highly recommended by literally everybody. So let's get to it. We're at Beaver Tail's the last stop on this whole food tour. Everyone's recommending we try it, so we ordered one classic and one fancy. When we first heard about Beaver Tail's, we thought they were actual Beaver Tail's, and it wasn't until about a few weeks later when we found out that it's kind of a fried dough, pancake, donut type of situation, and not a real Beaver Tail. The national treasure of Canada, we thought that they eat them. <laughs> All right, so this is the classic. It's just cinnamon on top. We wanted the ice cream on the fancy one, but we'll take it on either. 
like fried dough. As described? Mm -hmm. <laughs> fried dough, cinnamon, what else can you ask for, really? I like it. We were told this is kind of like a carnival tree and it lives up to its name. You wanna try the fancy one? This is the maple one. It's like a ton of maple with maple ice cream on it. Figured when in Canada, we haven't had anything maple-y yet. Man, that is a maple-y delicious dessert. Mm. It's too good. It's too good. It's so good. So if you want a walkable snack, don't get the ice cream. It's just dripping everywhere. And with that, we have officially eaten Canada. And if we miss anything, comment below because we're not done here. We actually have 10 days to get to Alaska. And uh, we have a lot of exploring until then. So make sure you're subscribed and like this video. Sugar crash! <laughs> We're on a million mile travel journey and this is how many miles we added with this road trip. Thank you for watching our video and make sure you subscribe to watch us travel one million miles.